<laughs> um, I'm coming from you from the relaxed position of my sofa. Um, I never call it a sofa. From my couch today, we just finished having our first live drawing session um, that Deb and I, Debbie Draws Funny and I, co-hosted um, Google Meet. It was so much fun. Um, so we are sharing the replay. I'm going to share the first half. Deb's going to share the second half. So if you want to draw along, draw weird things with us, um, start here. And then when this half is done, go over to Debbie Draws Funny and finish, uh, <laughs> finish it up. Simon's coming to chill. It's just a chill Saturday afternoon now. All our time is done and we can just relax. Um, it, <laughs> I love Art Hang Party. I love everything about Art Hang Party, but this today was so special because it was like meeting friends for the first time in person, even though it's still through the computer, but like seeing, um, everybody's faces and hearing everybody's voices and being able to actually talk to each other instead of, um, me talking and reading your comments, um, which still feels nice, but you know what I mean? Like talking, um, talking, talking with somebody, with people, with the group of people is, uh, is different. It was nice. It was so nice. It was so nice. How many times can I say nice? I loved it. Um, we were going to do more. I think we're going to try, uh, to do quarterly, maybe like Kristen suggested as the seasons change, so maybe seasonally, <laughs> uh, four times a year. Anyway, enough blabbering. Thank you if you were able to join us live. Um, and if you do draw along and draw weird things, make sure to tag me, Melissa underscore Martin underscore art, and Debbie Draws Funny on Instagram. And uh, we would love to see your weird drawings of weird things. Your beautiful drawings of weird things. <laughs> um, okay, enjoy the first half. Head over to Deb for the second half and yeah, have fun. <laughs> okay, warning to behave yourself, everybody. You know, <laughs> don't do anything here you wouldn't want posted. Good morning, Lutza, or good afternoon, I should say. Okay. So I thought this slide, and Litza just joined us, and these are pictures that she sent. <laughs> very, uh, very fun. I hope everybody can see uh, the slide. Looks um, good I thought, Okay, cool. Um, I just turned on the timer. I thought we could, I think I did. Yeah, I thought we could do these as blind contours if you wanted to, um, just start loose and fun. Uh, but we'll draw this page for five minutes if you want to focus on one, if you want to do all three. Uh, do what you will. All right. Then I will. <laughs> I'm just cracking up at that that meerkat. Uh, Not meerkat. I know he's wild, cat. but I still want to pet him. <laughs> They're so fluffy. They're like they show up in my sketchbooks all the time. Don't you have one in every sketchbook? Pretty much. I think the last the last sketchbook, the one I just did a tour of, did not. It was like the first one in, in a while. So and I have to this will be the first the first one in this particular sketchbook. So nice. Glad glad we got it in there. <laughs> and you said where was this from again? You was did you say Hungry. 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 Yeah. I'm thinking, I I think they're, I want to say they're in Russia. And then I'm like, no, that's not right, is it? I should know this. I'm the one who watches all the palace camp videos. <laughs> <laughs> they're from Budapest Zoo, says Lutza. Mm. Oh. <laughs> but they only look, fun fact, like that, like really fluffy in the winter. And then in the warmer months, they're actually pretty scrawny looking. <laughs> they're just all fluff. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. No, no. Which I just, I remember thinking like, I thought they just look like this year round, but. All the time. No. <laughs> like squirrels, how they get fat. 
Yeah, whatever. yeah, I guess. Okay, that's a very funny looking blind contoured pig. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm surprised at how almost I got the pig for, for me. These blind contours are always hilarious. <laughs> uh, we have two minutes and 46 just... seconds. Caution, I may bite and like pull you up into the air. <laughs> like, what the heck? The pig is a Mangalica, a Hungarian breed, thyri, oh. especially chunky. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> I just I like I just want to... like size reference. See how big it is. Yeah, I want to know why the camel is the size of a giraffe. That's very scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this child, like, is this a toddler? Like, you why are they like way up in the air? <laughs> The pig is also really fluffy, she said. Oh. Yeah, I want to pet that pig. And massive. Well, so, like, how big would it be in comparison to something? <laughs> like hamsters. What is it the size? Hamster. <laughs> hamster the size of a hamster. I'm like, we need a dollar bill or a pencil next yeah. to it. Like, how many cars is this pig? <laughs> <laughs> how many cars? <laughs> One minute, 32 seconds left. <laughs> A wild boar. Cat funny. Oh, where did that go? Where do I put that? Uh, slightly smaller than a pony, like a wild boar. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's, that's huge. Now, where are you seeing that answer? Am I uh, in in the chat? Question? Yeah, it's There's popping up for me. Yeah, oh, wait, I see. <laughs> this is why Melissa's handling this whole thing, because I'm like <laughs> the tech noob when it comes to this. Because I was telling her, I'm like, my Google Meet experiences are parent-teacher conferences. And I'm just in the audience. I'm not <laughs> presenting things. I'm just just listening and watching i don't really know what i'm doing i just do it that's all <laughs> if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't just click button where if, things if, happen mm -hmm. but if i was in charge everyone would be like waiting <laughs> so and i'd just be like frantically sweating and like i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> all right we have seven seconds Two, one, time's up. There's no beep, beep, beep. All right. So we have 10 minutes now um, per slide. Is that, is that gonna work next? <laughs> uh, okay, so these are all now Deb's reference photos. <laughs> so uh, we have 10 minutes to draw however many of these we want to draw. Oh, did you admit? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just opened up a Pinterest board for <laughs> that people can contribute to. So oh, cool. I don't know if I can <clears throat> put the link here later. But yeah, so I have like my secret board. And then I've got my secret uh, weird things board. Yeah, my secret weird things. The really weird things board, and then the public. No, no, weird it's just it's board. just like my own collection. Because I'm like, if you open it up public, I think people can delete things and change things around. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. I want these saved. They're precious, precious, and weird. I know that anybody would delete anything from a I know, board, but I was like, they? well, I like I want to not have them buried under a bunch of other pins. I guess is the other thing too. But yeah, I just just started that. And I'm like, ooh, then people can contribute, and then it's not the pressure's not all on me. Yeah, to find the weird things. It helps when somebody else helps coordinate the uh, reference photos, for sure. Yeah, because I'm thinking, how do you do this every week? And so, yeah, it's a lot. I think it helps sometimes. I would love the sleeping bag thing for camping. <laughs> That's what I want. 
This is like the Snuggie, but <laughs> weirder. But your arms, like, <laughs> you have no That's arms. Okay. You're just like, you don't need arms when you're camping. I just realized this <laughs> This really looks like the Fresno Nightcrawler now. If anyone knows what a Fresno Nightcrawler is. Um, it's oh, you showed that in one of your videos, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it just looks like a walking pair of pants. <laughs> and it's like, what is this? Hey, the, the cameras at, it was either, was it Yosemite? I think it was Yosemite National Park. Caught it on camera. So I'm like, is this thing real? Mm -hmm. Could be. And what is this? It's just so thing comical. Kind of looks like part elephant seal. Yeah. Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's really alarming looking. That texture is yeah off putting <laughs> off putting that's a good way to say. like if it was furry maybe it'd be less alarming but it definitely looks like something out of like the star wars yeah the Death star canteen or something <laughs> yeah like a baby jabba or something yeah is so weird. That was one of those things I looked at. I'm like, is this too upsetting to look at to, to contribute? How weird do we really want to be here? Yeah. <laughs> Just on the right side of too weird, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm trying I love it because I'm not worried about making a beautiful drawing. <laughs> yeah. Really? yeah. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, mine's way out. My proportions here are way off. I mean, I like I don't know, but I don't know where to start. But what if materials no reference everybody photos? Using? Sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> A good question. What is everybody using? So far, colored pencils. Me too. Markers. Markers, nice. I've never drawn something this weird, I think. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is fun to embrace the weirdness. I think that my son would like to, to join this session. <laughs> Nice. Feel free to share it. <laughs> the more, the weirder, the merrier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I started doing some of this just, it was mostly because I would look up animals that I wasn't used to drawing and I'd find like interesting animals. And I started seeing like all these weird photos, just Pinterest, you know, takes you down the Pinterest hole. And, mm -hmm. and then uh, I just found that it was like, it helped me loosen up even more because it's just bizarre stuff. And you're not trying, like if I'm drawing birds or something else, I feel tighter. Yeah. You want to make it look perfect right yeah the perfect representation of what you're what you're trying to draw and it's like this is just so weird that unless someone sees the reference photo how are they gonna know what what you're trying to draw not that i'm worried about it but it's just it's one of those things that it just i don't know helps me loosen up mm -hmm. that's what i like about the quick time drawings and stuff like there's mm -hmm. like who knows who knows what you're looking at when you're trying to draw something right or the blind contours and all that yeah yeah where single line sometimes... single line drawings like i've been doing that i'm obsessed yes. with right now like there's no pressure to make it perfect because you're only doing one line <laughs> so good yeah. luck to anybody who can make that That's perfect how... it makes it look so cool because it's like it's like wonky in the coolest way you know mm. like i like something that looks imp imperfect it's 
I don't, it just, it has so much more character. That's what I think. All right, we have three minutes, 16 seconds left, and I've drawn all three of them. <laughs> I'm going with the third one now. I've got them all sitting on a bus together. <laughs> oh, fun. Oh, cat crossing. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? That was Pearl. Hi, Pearl. Hey. Yeah, this bus photo just cracks me up. Yeah. <laughs> I see faces in those little things all the time. Yeah when i'm on the bus or the subway mm -hmm. but i've never connected it with a person's body <laughs> well it that. just lined up it lined yeah. up perfectly the total eclipse of the head seat backing <laughs> <laughs> i do like that he's in head to toe brown mm. <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> This is another Death Star Canteen character, I feel like. I'm going to hear the music in my head. Brownest brown outfit. One minute, 30 seconds. Oh, you know, we should probably, I should probably say that like Melissa and I were talking about this yesterday when we did a little test run because I was a nervous little baby and I was like, please hold my hand and do a test run with me. <laughs> um, we were like, you know, everyone can talk and all that kind of stuff. Don't feel like you have to be quiet this is so not a serious situation <laughs> it's meant to be fun and silly so yeah. i was like wanted to make sure people knew like you can totally talk and oops this is gonna break so don't that away if you do want to put on your mic and talk please feel free to you don't have to it's just you know let people know like totally cool totally allowed I would love to know how many cats you have, Melissa. <laughs> two, only two. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I, I have, I think I've met both of them then. I also yeah. have two. They're just always there, so it probably feels like a lot more. <laughs> they just keep showing up. Yeah. I wish I had more. Yeah, two cats and one dog. Uh, I just, I just got one more. <laughs> So now we have now we have three. It was not planned. It just oh, did, they, long story. did they all get along already? Uh not quite. The new one, we just we have her quarantined still kind of till she's still really nervous and scared. Poor thing. She's been all through right. a lot. New slide, new 10 minutes. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that bear. <laughs> wow, that horse head. Is that a shoe or? I. It looks like a shoe, doesn't it? Sculpture. So because cool. Because it's just by itself, but. Oh, right. Yeah, it's too big to. A shoe for a giant, maybe. Yes. Shoe for so, a giant. That's the weirdest concept. So it's a fake shoe with a horse's yeah. head and feet. <laughs> As a sculpture, you cannot wear it. It's not practical. Maybe you like, put clams in it or something. Yeah, maybe. Put maybe in it? Or, a dish. or maybe, oh, no. I was going to say maybe it's one of those wine bottle holder oh. things. And I'm like, no, because there's a heel. There's the hine, the hiney is a heel, like backing. And horses are hard enough to draw, right? So. Just about the hardest thing. <laughs> so it's like, let's just Although, make it. Thanks to Kristen. Yeah, I was going to say, you 
you found tips about how to draw horses better. So that was Kristen, you said. That was Kristen, yeah. So yeah, I feel like horses are that thing. It's like that, you know, that threshold you have to make it past as an artist and you're like, all right, I can draw a horse. Like, I'm, I'm a for real artist now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Made it. I can draw a horse. I can draw anything. <laughs> so you guys didn't all spend your, your elementary school years drawing horses? No. 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 no oh, I yeah. know most. <laughs> my session, I was a horse nut. Oh, yeah. Didn't it's have so one. It's so common. But... Or it's like just such a common trope. It's like the horse girl. Now that I'm like, yeah. I, I never was. I think because I was not around horses, but I, I lived in a city. I didn't have horses, but I was a horse nut for sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it means nothing to like where you live, but it was just, I, yeah. yeah, I knew plenty of people that were real horse girls and stuff, but I, I don't know. It was just what, like, I felt really neutral about horses. Now I'm just like, I think they're amazing and majestic and beautiful, but mm. oh my God, <laughs> mine is so off. <laughs> I'm just looking at this like, whoa. I'm still a horse nut and I have them here in my garden. Oh, yeah. And I can't oh. draw them. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the closer oh, just I get. Is this like a play on horseshoe? Like, oh, <laughs> why did I not get this until just now? Horseshoe. <laughs> Damn. Sense. We're good. I totally. The imagery was so distracting that it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. You win. You win the prize. <laughs> what? I don't know, but. I started with the bear and his human feet are uh, really kind of. <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. I think. Ballet shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> It's that uncanny valley thing, isn't it? Yes. And the eyes. When I have this thing about, I think everybody has this thing, but it's like you see the white around the whole eye. That's mm -hmm. when you're like, oh. Danger. Danger. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> it's like the markings of a, a cult leader or something. It's like when you can see the whites <laughs> around their whole eyes when they talk to you. Like, just back away. The intensity is too much. Yes. Mm -hmm. Totally. It's like such like an elegant pose and then the terrified face, I think. Is yes. Like... That immobile, terrified face. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, how, how are you balancing with that big, heavy head? And that's got to be a lot on stage. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I've got enough time to get this this bear in. Five minutes, 28 seconds. <laughs> just such an elegant pose. It's just so <laughs> and what does it have all around its neck? Is that chains or flowers? Or... It looks like ruffles, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like a nice like crocheted a ruffle scarf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they, Why couldn't, they couldn't fit the tutu around the torso, so they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you lift it up to the neck. It's fine. Throw it on. My horse looks like it needs to be put out of its misery. <laughs> Just staring off into eternity. <laughs> like, I think it feels that way too. Like it wants to be put out of its misery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> kill me. The face. Please. I've been through a lot. I've seen a right. lot of things in this thrift store. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Oh, I really should have sectioned off my, I should have made like little squares on my page and I didn't. And now I'm like really going off the page. Mm. I yeah, usually my, do that too, but I did not today. No. It helps a lot. Like I have yeah. to do that before like an art hang party or anything. Like, Cause I'm just like, I can't, I, don't know how to fit everything in that. 
constraints yeah. yeah isn't it so strange how just drawing like a rectangle within the page somehow makes it easier but like the rectangle of the page somehow doesn't register yeah. yes mm -hmm. like what great point why is that like brains brains are funny yeah it really is All right, I have three minutes to draw these intense bear eyes. <laughs> yeah, I just started on the bear and you're right, like I can't look away. <laughs> He's asking for help. Apologies for all the nightmares that these induce. <laughs> so sorry, but also I'm not sorry. You you volunteered to be here, so. <laughs> A lot of folks will show up and be like, I did not know what I was signing up for. You said weird, but I didn't know it would be that weird. Right. Because I'm like, I think most of the of the folks here know you, Melissa. And your art hang party. So I was like, I, I don't know how many people are going to be prepared for <laughs> my idea of what Deb's weirdness. So I have my We Are the Weirdos Mr. Shirt. On today. I love that shirt. <laughs> I can't remember who I found first, Deb, if I started watching The Lazy Redhead and found you through her or started watching you and then found her. But I mean, I don't I don't know. I because but we were both kind of talking about each other. So who knows? We have a lot of crossover, I think. So I don't know if anybody here watches um, Ellie, The Lazy Redhead that Kristen mentioned, but. Yeah, well, I found her, I wanna, gosh, how long has she been going? I'm thinking it was like two years ago, but it may have only been one year ago. But she, she's she got a thousand followers, or over a thousand now, and she's doing awesome. And she left her job to become a full-time artist. And I, cause I'm just so happy for her. Amazing. Yeah, and her job was so stressful that it's like, it's like now she can finally like do the thing she wants to do. And it's just so cool when you see that happen. Definitely. Like the thing that you wish for everybody, you know? Yeah. A beautiful thing to see. Yeah, I love her videos. Um, like I've heard, she has like this chaotic, calming energy, like <laughs> at the same time, I'm just like, I'm putting you on in the background. You're hanging mm -hmm. out with me. I, yeah, I'm not a big, the funny thing is I'm not a big like color swatch person. Like I, like I don't, um, like I enjoy a Natasha Newton video every once in a while. It's like super calming, chill. We're swatching colors. It's like my heart rate relaxes, you know, mm -hmm. but it's not my normal thing to like sit and watch them. I don't know. It's just, I don't, unless it's a material that I'm like been curious about and wanting to buy and I want to see someone sample these things. So I totally get why people watch them. But yeah. when she does them, they're so entertaining because she's freaking out about every color and texture. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. This color. I could eat it. You know, <laughs> Is she on the YouTube one or what? The, she's on YouTube. Yeah. yeah so okay. it's lazy redhead. Okay. We have she's 10 seconds. Highly entertaining i highly recommend she just posted a plain air vlog mm -hmm. where she went out to uh do some fluorescent or neon drawing by the lake yes mm -hmm. using cheap materials which is also cool i couldn't stop laughing though when she picked up her sketchbook to show the one drawing immediately <laughs> dropped it in the wind and i just started oh, yeah. so I and then she's like, like i'm not mad about it I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to adopt that not bad about it attitude more often. Yeah. Uh, Jamie says Lazy Red has a red head is awesome. She did say her husband also supports her in her creative yes. endeavors too. Yes. All right. Was that weird enough for you? There's more weird to come. Head to Debbie Draws Funny. Um, I'll, I'll obviously I'll be linking her everywhere. Um, head over to her YouTube channel to finish the session. Bye.